Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the InGroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm going to do a couple of unboxings. This is from the new series by Analog Productions. This essentially covers the Verve, Impulse, Phillips, Emerson catalog. It's going to be very, very similar to Blue Note's version of the Tome Poet. This is a really high quality Sawington tip-on jacket. These are all analog cut by the original, excuse me, cut from the original analog tape. It says, let's see, mastered from the original analog tapes by top mastering engineers. They're going to kind of vary. You know, Kevin Gray is doing most of the blue notes. But this is kind of their answer to the Tone Poets. And what's absolutely fantastic about this is I don't think this series would be around had not been for the Tone Poets. I think the success of the Blue Note Tone Poet series really gave other manufacturers, you know, the inclination that, you know, maybe this is something we should be looking at. Maybe people don't want $20 mediocre looking and mediocre sounding records. Maybe we should do it right. We're going to sell a lot more records. We can get more money from them. And that's essentially what these are. Now, these are the first two titles. These come out August 28th, uh, 2020. The next two ser uh, in titles in the series are probably going to be the biggest. They're going to be uh, John Coltrane's Love Supreme and Ballads. But I wanted to crack these open and take a look. Like I said, I'm really looking forward to these. So far, just right from the jump, they look spectacular. I actually am not a fan of the loose baggy sleeve that Mobile Fidelity does, uh, that Acoustic Sounds does on their stuff. I actually think I like the way this sits on my shelf better. I like the way these store better in the store. And actually, these are more telling. So you can get an old Mobile Fidelity record. It could be sitting in someone's garage for four years at 130 degree temperature. It could be melted beyond belief. But you don't know the condition of it inside. This type of style of jacket is actually more conducive to seeing the actual true condition of what the record inside looks. So, And it's actually a really soft a really soft film. It's not that hard uh, polyfilm that I think would damage a record a little bit easier. But let's take a look. Let's see if I can try to save the shrink on this. Maybe, maybe not. Ah, oh, yeah, gorgeous. Look at that. Super, super high quality, just like their 45 RPM version. I'm loving this so far. Super high gloss, high quality, real, real heavy cardboard. Listen to that crunch. That's what you want to hear. That is, this, these are going to be absolute home run titles. You know, and they've announced essentially the titles. There's some Nina Simone. There's some stuff they've announced coming through the end of the year. But I'm really looking forward to what this series might bring in the future. There are so many killer impulse titles that we need to get proper reissues of. And the beautiful thing about these is they're 33 RPMs. The 45 RPM stuff sounds great. This record at 45 RPM, I've got on my list of top 10 in-print analog jazz records that you should own. It's an amazing sounding record. I'm sure it probably even sounds better than this. I believe they were both cut and mastered at the same time. They've just held on to the lacquers for the 33s for probably quite some time. But I'm sure this still sounds really, really good. And there needs to be 33 RPMs in print of these really high-quality titles. Ah, oh, check it out. Look at that. So there's a couple of titles on here that they had not announced. So there is Black Coffee, Peggy Lee on DECA. George Russell, New York, New York. Another DECA title. And two more Verve titles. Look at that. Bill Evans, Trio 64. And Bill Evans, Trio 65. I don't think they've actually announced those last four titles. So there is the release catalog. Let's hope that that holds true. They uh, pushed back all of the titles so far a month. I'm going to guess that these actually have been, the last four have been pushed back to the beginning of the year. But yeah, look at that little uh, 
the Verve label group, label group. The Verve label group, a division of Universal Music Group, group is home to many of the most acclaimed artists in jazz history. And that is 100% true. Look at that. Some of the uh, artists include Coltrane, Fitzgerald, Simone, Louis Armstrong, Stan Getz, Billie Holiday. This really would be a welcome addition. This is a segment of the jazz, uh, a segment of jazz that really is not super represented in the audiophile realm. Some of these titles have been done, but there's a lot within these labels that they can choose from. I mean, this really is, look at that, beautiful. Looks like uh, these are all pressed at QRP. And of course that record looks perfect, which I expected. I'd have been shocked if it wasn't. There is a speaker's corner version of this that came out a while back. That's at 33 RPM, but that 45 RPM kills it. And I'm guessing that this is gonna trollop over it all as well. But yeah, this is, this is, Absolutely the highest quality 33 RPM on this record I've ever seen. This is an absolute home run. There's no doubt in my mind the day that these things are no longer in print, you can just guarantee this is a $100 bill. Without a doubt, this is a $100 record out of print. I'll bet dollars to donuts on it. All right, let's check out the second title. Louis Armstrong meets Oscar Peterson. I will say too, the John Coltrane Love Supreme and Ballads probably are going to finish the year as the two best selling albums for the entire year, for me anyways. They are selling really, really well to where if you guys don't have pre-orders in on that and you think you might want them, I'd get them in soon because it's going to get to the point where I have to cut those off. So there's a little roller mark on the back, but I could probably get that off. But other than that, perfect. Norman Grant, Louis Armstrong, some photography in the inside, Oscar Peterson, Herb Ellis, Ray Brown. Really cool, love the art. I mean, this is just this, man, I, I'm gushing over this stuff, but this is just absolutely fantastic. This is the way records should be made. So yeah, these are $34.99. These can be purchased on our website. Record is perfect. I no, no doubt these are gonna be a home run. They just really are. You know, if you watch my Music Matters video that I did a while back, I pretty much said that there's high quality titles that need to be in print. Unfortunately, it's not the Blue Note catalog, but it is going to be addressed here within at least the Verve Impulse uh, and Universal Family of Jazz Recordings Group. But yeah, Getz Galbardo, Louis Armstrong meets Oscar Peterson, two killer titles. This I, you know, I wasn't that familiar with until I actually saw the announcement for this and I went and listened to it. It's actually a really, really good album. I wouldn't sleep on this. This is a really good, fun album. Give it a try. Everybody that is into jazz is obviously familiar with this. If you're not, this is a very good starter record for the jazz genre. It kind of the record that started the Boston Nova craze. Very, very solid record. But yeah, check them out on our website, www.theingroove.com. Until next time.